So, to get started with NovaCut development, the first thing I want to do is install NovaCut from our daily builds PPA. So open a terminal and then type sudo apt add repository PPA colon NovaCut. Make sure you spell it right. Slash daily. And then hit enter. And now type sudo apt git update to reload the package list. And now you want to install NovaCut, which will drag in all of its dependencies, and also BZR. So sudo sudo apt git install NovaCut space BZR. So one nice thing about um, using our daily PPA is you know, NovaCut is still moving pretty quickly, so we do tend to make dependency changes pretty often still. So if you're running the daily builds, you'll automatically get those dependency updates. So um, even if you're just working from the source tree, you know, the, the accessory packages you need will be there automatically. So I'm gonna show you how I like to set up my kind of BZR workspace. Um, you can do it a bit differently, but um, it's, good to, it's good to do it the way that the rest of the team does. So when, you know, we're trying to explain um, workflow issues we have the same layout working with. So, oops. The first thing I do is I make a BZR directory. Um, and then I'll go ahead and grab the NovaCut component. So, um, I like to work with a shared repo. Um, and inside that, I create a checkout of the trunk branch. So, BZR checkout. Um, LP colon NovaCut space trunk. So trunk is going to be the directory that it's um, in inside of this uh, local repo. Oops. Type it correctly. So unless you're um, a member of the NovaCut dev launchpad group, you can't commit to trunk. But personally, I find it really handy to have a local checkout of the trunk branch. So you know, at any given time, you can just kind of see what the state of it is um, and say quickly do um, an offline diff between your current working branch and trunk. I do that all the time. So do some stuff. Um, and then at any point, you know, say a few days pass and we made more commits to the trunk branch, if you just BZR update, um, that will bring in the latest changes. and some of the other BZR stuff I'm gonna skip for now. But um, a quick glance at the NovaCut source tree. The UI folder is interesting. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of the starting point. And then in the next tutorial, I'm gonna introduce you to working with DMedia. And then the one after that, um, we're working on the NovaCut UI.